You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, ready to do one of the little baking sets that I have. This is the first one. This is the Reese's Cookie Pan Kit. Now, years ago, I did ones that were in, uh, like, uh, cast iron, little cast iron pans. I saw this, and I think there might have been one other one there besides this, but this is the one I wanted to do. Uh, it is the Cookie Pan Kit with Reese's, and it says, Made with Reese's Peanut Butter Mini Chips. Now, hopefully, oh, by the way, it's a two from gift and I got it from five below for five bucks so you get to keep the little Reese's baking pan it includes Reese's carbon steel pan Reese's peanut butter and chocolate chip cookie mix Reese's peanut butter chips and then I need one tablespoon of butter softened and then one tablespoon of egg beaten let's see what this side says enjoy with your favorite topping so they show it it almost looks like uh, chocolate, like uh, Hershey's chocolate on top. Bananas, strawberries, all those things. I hadn't planned for that, but we'll see. And then uh, pretty basic, it just says preheat oven to 350 degrees. Now, I am going to use the mini oven that's in this kitchen because I feel that that pan is going to fit in the vintage oven, not the Easy Bake oven. It just says combine the cookie mix with the peanut butter chips in a bowl and a tablespoon of egg beaten and one tablespoon of softened butter mix until blended spread into the pan lightly buttered and then bake so we shall see the baking is going to be a challenge because i don't know we'll have to see how hot this oven's been getting and then we'll go from there all right let me come back now let me just test this oven in the, uh, the pan in the oven first to make sure i can do that okay so let's cut the tape let's check out this little carbon fiber so it does say Reese's all around the outer top lip and then there's a little dot in between each one and then I just need to see if this fits this oven is on Ooh, looky there so I should be able to bake it right in here all right let me get my supplies I just need to grease this come back and then we'll continue on with the process all right before I grease the pan while well, I washed it I gotta dry it real quick I thought Ooh, there's a, oh this was open how did that happen there was a breach in my chips not sure how that happened but these are the peanut butter chips and then here is the chocolate chip peanut butter cookie batter and then here is my pan you see nice and clean ready to go all right and then i'm going to grease it with some butter some butter it says lightly that's not much, but I'll just spread this around. I really want to get that little inner crevice there, right? Where you think it's going to stick on that edge. Okay. You know, if you do it too lightly, then you're going to have issues. Make sure I get the whole upper edge. Okay. The only way to do that... The best way to do that is with your fingers. At least that's what I've seen. All right, so now I need to get it all in a bowl. I don't think I'm going to use that little blue bowl, but I'm going to do the egg in that. So let me grab another one of my bowls, and we will mix it all up. Okay, i got to make a little room here. Let me get that. Let me get that. I knocked over one of my little bottles on the side. Let's move this out of the way completely. Okay, that is there. I'll tell you what, does, I think this all just gets dumped in so let me get this out of here now since it was already breached right and the bowl I'm using is a easy bake bowl from one of my older sets I have a bunch of extra ones that I've had collected over the years which I've shown you now if you're new to the channel there's videos on this set that I'm working in okay here we go Okay, so the egg, let's get this out of the way, let's get the egg, uh, I think I'll just do it on right on the countertop edge. Terrible break, but that's what happens sometimes. Okay, maybe one tablespoon of this, beaten. Oh, the butter, that's set to go. It was one 
tablespoon. Let me just verify. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. That's what I had set aside. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. There's some extra chips. Three extra chips that fell. Yeah, so one tablespoon of softened butter. And then you mix it all together. So let's get that butter in there. Let me just break it up in there. Okay. So now I just have to get one tablespoon of egg. That's always the struggling part. Yeah, so those other videos, like the, the Lucky Mini Food videos, I do show you more of the kitchen. I use the, uh, I use the sink. There's two ovens in here. I've shown you the dishwasher, all the lighting. Give me a complete rundown of how this works. Okay, tablespoon. Let me reset up here. I'll use this. This is an easy bake. Uh, four measuring spoon, and I'll get the tablespoon in there, and then I will start mixing. Okay, just so I can try to keep things clean here. It's always tough just getting one tablespoon, so let's see if I can stop it in time. It's a little crooked, you know, because there's still, you'd have to really beat it to get it just perfect so that it's separated just right. Okay, here we go. So let's see if I can get this out of the way now. Ooh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So one egg, one tablespoon of egg, not one egg. So have you been enjoying all the videos that I've been doing this year so far? Any one particular video up till this point? Because this is actually probably going out on either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So you've seen at least, I don't know, 14 videos maybe, 12 videos. Anyone stick out? You know, I guess softened butter is hard to actually have totally softened when it's so cold. We're expecting a huge snowstorm and the temperature has dropped outside. So usually this is like countertop cold, but maybe it's a little colder. Just work with it. That's a lot of chips in there, actually. The majority of this dough is chip. You notice that? Now it did say spread on the bottom of the pan. It didn't say pour, if I remember correctly. Let me look. Yes, spread, which means it is a thicker dough. It's close. But I'll just keep going because of the way the butter is, I'll just spend a little extra time with you. All right, so what was I saying? Yeah, did you have a favorite? What was your favorite? There, it's starting to soften up now. I would say for me, the cotton candy ones, uh, the giant ring pop with, uh, with Butch, that was a countertop smash. Man, now we're getting it. I probably should have just microwaved that butter for a little bit. Probably would have just been better to use melted butter, don't you think? Why soften? Okay, I feel better now. Oh, there's a chunk of butter. Let's get that out of there. Yeah, I should have given it like, uh, what, 20 seconds in the microwave? 10 seconds in the microwave? There's so many chips. Yeah, so let me know that. All right, let me get the pan in here. I will come back. And we will lightly, we will spread this into a lightly buttered pan. Okay, I just did a little bit extra kind of faster mixing off camera where it wasn't sitting on this little countertop. And I'm even more happy with the way it mixed now. Let's get that in there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not seeing any butter chunks. 
I was worried about that, but I think we're okay. What else? Yeah, the cotton candy videos were fun. I actually finished, uh, if you watched that video, well, I don't know when it came live, but there was one video with the cotton, it might, have been, might be released today, this is being released, but it's the anchovy Caesar salad uh, candy canes. The Caesar salad candy canes, and I did them on anchovies. And then the next day, we had Caesar salad, real Caesar salad. So I was able to use all those anchovies in the Caesar salad. Actually, Audrey made the Caesar salad dressing. It's uh, actually not easy to spread. Maybe you're noticing that. Okay. I think we're good enough for what we're doing. It's not a contest. Yes, yes, yes. It is ready to go. All right, in the oven we go. I'll do a quick heat temp check, and then uh, we'll bake it up. Okay, so quick temperature check. I know this oven gets pretty hot. I got my spacer in there, which I'm leaving. Okay, 386, so it's supposed to be 375, I think it's at 368. I think we're good. Ooh, 427 on that one corner. Now, I did find two extra chips on my countertop, and that little butter was on the lip of the pan. So I just put it on top. Okay, let me set the timer and we will check it. Okay, I have 25 seconds, 20 seconds for nine minutes. It did say 12 to 13, so I thought, well, let me check it at nine minutes. All right, so let me just stop that. Let me reset, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's go four more. Let's take a peek. You should be able to see it. Oh, it's raising, okay, so it's starting to take shape in there. Hopefully this works, I have no idea. Let me let it go another four minutes and we will see. Okay, time is up, that's been four more minutes. Now it's not looking brown. Let me get my little spatula, a little spoony grabber thingy here. We'll just drag it right out, take a look. Okay, so it's definitely not done. We'll give it a few more minutes. It's definitely doing something, so that's a good sign. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so what I did was, just to be a little bit closer to the heat, was I got a shorter little pan to put in there. We're at about 10 minutes. Let us see, I'll just slide it out. Okay, so... It actually isn't sticking. It's just not browning on the top. The edges, okay, so I think it's close, actually, because the edges are brown. Yeah, definitely brown. I don't want to burn it, so I'm going to give it two more minutes. So what do we have? Yeah, nah, I think we're close, so two more minutes and I will take it out. Okay, moving it to the top. The lights were a little bright there because I had lowered them down. That should be a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Always trying to get it right. So I'll just let it fall out onto the uh, door, which is kind of nice. You know, it doesn't look done on the top, but when I stuck this in, it came out totally dry. So we have to just assume everything is good. Okay, there we go. Easier to grab now. That's the, uh, that's what it looks like. Actually, it looks pretty good. All right, let me set that up there. We'll let that cool. I hadn't really thought about toppings. Maybe I can just put some, uh, Chocolate on there, maybe a little whipped cream. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, now I was moving this around, put it in a cool place, and it came right out. So that worked good. The bottom, I didn't look at the bottom. Let's take a look. Let's see. Okay, so it's not too bad. It's lighter brown here and then darker in here. I don't know. Gonna have to live with that now. And then I decided to do a little whipped cream on top just to give it a little here. Let me move this down here in the middle. It'll be easier for me to. Decorate down here. All right, that's a big plate, so not necessarily good for mini food, but let's shake that up. I'm just being cautious; it doesn't shoot out. Oh, well, there we go. Let's fill it in. Hmm. And then I've got this Smuckers. Magic shell chocolate syrup. You just pour it on. It felt like I shook it up already, by the way, just so you know. 
and hopefully that hardens. I'm going to have to let it sit now. I was thinking because of the cool whipped cream, that would harden. So let me let that sit now and uh, hopefully change to a nice little crunchy shell. We shall see. I will be back in a few minutes. Starting to run off the side. Ooh, does that look good? Look at that. It should get to where you can tap it and it sounds nice and crunchy. We shall see. I'll be back. Okay, there it is. I have been looking at it and moving it around. This was the side you saw earlier. Now it has a crispy shell in the whipped cream. Now I was wondering, do you cut it? Do you attempt to cut it? Or do you just pick it up and eat it like a big cookie? I probably under normal circumstances would just pick it up and eat it like a big cookie. Okay, let's just see. I was able to cut through a little knife, little cut. Okay, so that's mine. You get, you're gonna get a bigger piece. We'll just cut this like this and give you this whole. Oh, you think that would ever happen again? I don't think so. That was perfect. Let me just, that was hilarious actually. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Now that's the piece I should be eating, right? Leave that there, yeah, that looks like a good sample piece. I'm gonna try it now, here we go. So the Reese's, what do they call it on the package? Reese's Cookie Pan Kit. Initially, you get the little crisp from the chocolate, then you sink into the whipped cream. Then you get the tasty Reese's peanut butter cookie with the chips. Mmm. I might as well just finish this piece. I think you would enjoy it. It was fun to make. I might have baked it like two minutes left, but it tastes like a soft peanut butter cookie on the top and a crispy peanut butter cookie on the bottom. So how do you like your peanut butter cookies? It's the best of both worlds. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun, Maya. And depending on when this goes live, it goes live. Too busy chewing. Have a wonderful Christmas. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.